Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we delve into the intensifying conflict between Russia and Ukraine, a war that has drawn in the West and pushed global tensions to the brink. What began as a regional struggle has now spiraled into a geopolitical flashpoint involving missiles, mobilized troops, and warnings of potential global warfare. With the US, UK, and NATO ramping up support for Ukraine and Russia responding with unprecedented military measures, the question arises, are we witnessing the lead up to World War III? Let's examine the critical developments and their far reaching implications. One long range strikes. Ukraine targets Russian soil. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine reached a new level of intensity as Ukraine successfully launched long-range missile strikes deep into Russian territory. Backed by Western allies, these attacks targeted vital military infrastructure, including ammunition depots and command centers in regions such as Belgorod and Kursk. The long-range missile capability comes primarily from Western support. The United States provided ATAC-MS Army Tactical Missile System missiles, capable of striking targets up to 300 kilometers away. The UK also contributed Storm Shadow cruise missiles, known for their precision and destructive power. These weapons have allowed Ukraine to expand its operational reach significantly, challenging Russia's perceived military superiority. According to The New York Times, Ukrainian officials have described the strikes as critical to disrupting Russian supply chains and weakening its military operations in occupied territory. President Volodymyr Zelensky remarked, these efforts are a testament to our resilience and the strength of our international alliances. However, these actions have sparked outrage in Moscow. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov labeled the attacks as acts of aggression orchestrated by NATO, emphasizing that Ukraine would not have achieved these strikes without Western intervention. Russian state media further claimed that the strikes cross a red line, potentially justifying a broader military response. Will Ukraine's use of advanced Western weaponry embolden its resistance or provoke an overwhelming counterstrike from Moscow? How far are NATO allies willing to go to support Ukraine's expanding capabilities? Thank you for breaking that down. While Ukraine's strikes demonstrate its growing capacity to challenge Russia, the Kremlin's response has been swift and severe. Let's delve into Russia's latest measures including the activation of its most feared weapon, the ICBM. Two, Russia deploys ICBMs, a warning to the West. In retaliation for Ukraine's long-range missile strikes, Russia has escalated its military posture by deploying the RS-28 Sarmat ICBM, also known as Satan-2. This missile is designed to carry up to 15 nuclear warheads and reach targets as far as 11,000 kilometers, making it one of the deadliest weapons in modern military arsenals. Russian President Vladimir Putin directly addressed Western nations, stating, those who fuel this conflict with weapons and resources should understand that they are not invulnerable. Russia will take all necessary measures to ensure its security. This move has been interpreted as both a show of force and a warning to NATO countries, particularly the US, UK, and France. According to Reuters, Kremlin insiders suggest that the deployment serves dual purposes deterring further Western intervention and bolstering domestic support amid growing economic and social pressures. Direct targets of the warning. The United Kingdom and France. As key NATO allies and providers of military aid to Ukraine, both nations have been specifically called out in Russian statements. A senior analyst from the Moscow-based Valdai Discussion Club remarked, London and Paris must recognize that their involvement has direct consequences. Russia's strategic patience has limits. Two, the United States. Russian officials have accused Washington of orchestrating Ukraine's war efforts. The Sarmat missiles range includes major US cities, highlighting the stakes of further escalation. New warning, attacks on NATO weapon stockpiles. In addition to deploying ICBMs, Russia has issued a stark warning to NATO, particularly targeting Poland, a key logistics hub for Western military aid to Ukraine. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu stated, any NATO weapons stockpile on Polish territory that is used to support Ukraine will be considered a legitimate target. Poland, which has been instrumental in the transfer of arms and supplies to Ukraine, 
now finds itself in the crosshairs of potential Russian strikes. According to BBC News, the Polish government has responded by increasing security measures around key military facilities and working closely with NATO allies to bolster air defense systems. Key question, is this show of force by Russia a bluff to pressure NATO into scaling back its involvement, or is Moscow preparing for a broader military confrontation? How will Poland and NATO respond to this direct threat against their infrastructure? Russia's escalation undoubtedly raises the stakes, but NATO is not backing down. With 800,000 troops on high alert and reinforcements along Eastern Europe, the alliance is sending a clear message. It is ready for any scenario. Let's examine NATO's preparations and the risks of this unprecedented mobilization. 3. NATO's response, preparing for the worst. In what NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg described as an unprecedented defensive posture, the alliance has placed 800,000 troops on high alert. These forces, drawn from 31 member nations, are equipped with advanced technology, including F-35 fighter jets, Abrams tanks, and integrated air defense systems. Stoltenberg stated during a Brussels press conference, this is not about provocation, it is about prevention. NATO will defend every inch of its territory against any threat. According to BBC News, NATO has deployed additional battle groups to Poland, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, bolstering its eastern flank. A NATO-led naval task force has also been stationed in the monitor Russian activity. However, this buildup carries significant risks. The Economist warns that such large-scale mobilization could escalate tensions, as Moscow may interpret it as preparation for offensive actions. Economically, the strain on NATO countries is also evident. European energy markets have seen significant disruptions, with gas prices increasing by 15% in the past week due to fears of conflict-related supply interruption. Will NATO's massive mobilization act as a deterrent? Or could it provoke a chain reaction leading to direct confrontation with Russia? How will Poland's role as a frontline state affect NATO's broader strategy? From Ukraine's bold long-range strikes to Russia's retaliatory deployment of ICBMs and NATO's historic mobilization, the conflict is spiraling into uncharted territory. The world watches as every decision carries the weight of potential global consequences. After the content was posted, there were many different opinions. Here are some statistics on the comments that received the most attention from the audience. Image of audience comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with the most accurate news about America. Until next time, see you soon.